In this video, we are introducing our new tablet style POS interface. This new point of sale module has been designed for touchscreen point of sale operation, making it perfect for any Windows tablets or Windows PCs running Windows 7 or higher. This new interface also auto fits any screen resolution above 1024 by 768, thereby eliminating the previous 800 by 600 resolution requirement found in classic mode POS. Button colors and styles are customizable and you can edit any transaction line during a sale, including quantity, price, and discount. These are just a few of the benefits of a new POS design that provides a more intuitive user interface and improved transaction times. Let's begin with a review of the button types and their locations on the POS screen. At the top of the screen, we have our POS buttons, which are used to change the transaction type and for performing other non-transaction oriented register functions. Then we have our system buttons, which are actually hotkeys that can be used during the transaction process. And finally, our customizable item grids for those items that do not have barcodes. Additionally, you always have an on-screen keyboard or keypad at your disposal. Now let's take a look at the POS buttons. The General Store always defaults to a taxable sale, but you can change the transaction type by clicking the Sale button at the top of the screen, allowing you to process a return, a layaway, an order, a quote, or to reload a held transaction. Selecting the Cash Drawer Functions button gives you access to Cash Drawer functions such as opening the Cash Drawer, logging in and out of the drawer, performing a Cash Drawer Summary, removing cash or adding cash, and cashing a check. You can use the General Store's Payout function whenever you need to make a cash payment for a vendor invoice. Selecting the Reprint Functions button allows you to reprint the very last transaction processed or any prior transaction processed during the current day. If you offer an in-house accounts receivable program, a layaway program, or both, you can process payments on those accounts at point of sale. You also have the ability to set transaction discount options for any transaction. The Customer Actions button allows you to attach a customer to the sale, perform an account inquiry, make changes to a customer's account, or perform a balance inquiry on a customer's gift card. The optional Discount Invoice button can be used to discount a transaction at the end of a sale. The Item Lookup button can be used to locate an item by a portion of the item number, by up to two keywords in the item description, by department, category, and subcategory, or by vendor. The Item Inquiry button can be used to review pertinent information on an item, such as quantity data, pricing, and item movement. Now let's take a look at the transaction hotkeys at the bottom of the screen by seeing them in action during a sale. With our new POS interface, you're always in fast mode, so to begin a transaction, simply enter an item via barcode scanner, quick pick grid, or item lookup. Now that we have a few items entered, let's take a look at the repeat last key. Here you can see it simply repeated line 3 and added another bag of chips to the sale. Now let's take a look at delete last. Here you can see by selecting Delete Last and confirming the item deletion that that second bag of chips was removed from the sale. Now let's take a look at the Return Next button. The Return Next button is typically used when a customer is returning one item in exchange for another. You must hit the key before scanning the item the customer is returning. Here you can see the quantity sold is negative one, thereby returning the item and adding it back into inventory. Now let's take a look at Item Direct. Item Direct Taxable and Non-Taxable are used in emergency situations where you need to sell an item that has not yet been put into the General Store's inventory system. Both keys prompt you for description and sale price.
Now let's take a look at the F5 quantity key. An easy way to enter multiple quantities is with the F5 quantity key. Simply hit F5 quantity, enter the item number, and then enter the quantity. Now let's take a look at F6, direct price. The F6 price key is used for on-the-spot markdowns and other price adjustments. Simply hit F6 price, enter the item number, and enter the price. The F7 Discount Next button is used to discount the next item entered. Simply hit F7 Discount Next, enter the item number, and enter the percentage discount or price level discount. In our example, we applied a discount of 25% to the Cobra driver. The F8 Salesperson key is typically used in environments where commissions are paid. For example, in a furniture store, Salesperson 1 may sell a customer a bedroom set, while Salesperson 2 may sell the customer a dining room set. The F8 Salesperson Change key allows you to put both sets on the same transaction and essentially split the sale commission-wise between the two salespeople. The F9 Cancel button is used to cancel or void a transaction, while the F10 Finish key is used to tender the sale and complete the transaction. Manufacturer's coupons can be entered manually using the F11 coupon key. Here you can see that we entered a coupon with a face amount of $2. The Tax Exempt Next button is used to remove tax from the next item entered. The Write Memo button can be used to add any customer or employee specific notes or instructions to an invoice. The Grid Menu button is used to show, hide, or change your pre-configured item grids on the POS screen. Here we're going to select the Candy Grid and sell a Snickers bar. Here we'll hide the grid and then we'll bring it back up. Now that we have seen the POS buttons, system buttons, and quick pick grids, let's take a look at a sample transaction from start to finish. Let's start by entering some items. In this example, the customer decided to get two more six packs of Diet Coke. So we're going to edit line one by tapping the line number. When editing a line on an invoice, you can make changes to retail price, quantity sold, and discount level. You can apply those changes by tapping the update item key. You can delete the item altogether from the invoice by tapping the delete item button, or you can skip the update altogether. In our example, we will first change the price and then the quantity sold and we will apply these changes by tapping the update item button. Now we will tap the F10 finish button to tender the sale and complete the transaction. In this example the customer is paying with a $20 bill so we will first tap the $20 speed tender button followed by the cash button. Now we can give the customer their change and tap OK for the next sale. We hope you enjoyed the demo. If you are a current General Store user who prefers the current classic POS screens, then don't worry. The General Store can still run in either classic mode or our new tablet mode. Contact your General Store account representative for more information and a live web demo.